Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Friday, April 6, 2012, and I'm Darko. This is my website, ggnonline.com. That's ggnonline.com and ddarko2012 and 2013 on my YouTube channels. All the headlines and links will be posted in YouTube's video description if you're a new viewer. Also, I just uh, put up a poll today. Uh, will people alter their cell phone activity after the revelation that service providers are helping governments keep track of its customers? So you can go in there and check that out. Okay, so the first article that I have up is uh, kind of going off what we just covered in the second video, which is, you know, as the economy is degrading, um, possibly a collapse is imminent, um, the government's getting ready. So, you know, you may be turning on your television seeing that everything's going to be okay, um, while at the same time the government's hoarding brass, in other words, um, all the brass that the government expends, i.e. the military, instead of putting it back into circulation, they're keeping it for themselves. They've also signed big contracts for indefinite amounts of, um, of ammunition, armor-piercing ammunition, for an indefinite amount of time. Um, they were also, what, purchasing bulletproof checkpoints, uh, you know, they have these things, uh, basically they're these mobile towers, guard towers, and they put them in parking lots like Walmart and that, they have those, uh, you know, doing all kinds of contracts, getting ready, uh, doing exercises at the Social Security office when the benefits run out. I mean, everything, they're covering everything. And the whole Occupy movement is, uh, it's a PSYOP. So uh, they're, they're, they're getting... The police, like holding back, uh, you know, ten German, like it's like a, it's like a, ten-year-old girl holding back, you know, a, three German shepherds, grow full grown, and you just got like some, you know, person whatever on the other side. I mean, eventually they're gonna unleash the police on civilians. I kind of feel bad for them because when it gets ugly, it's gonna get ugly. But they have plenty of toys, and that's another reason or more evidence that. The government is getting ready for some kind of um, imminent uh, crisis, and that's what all these little tasers and stuff are for. They're getting police used to it and conditioned to tasing people like they're cattle. So, it says here, this county police agency re acquires surplus military equipment led by the Modesto Police Department. Law enforcement agencies in the county have snapped up some $4.2 million worth of surplus military equipment since 93 through a special defense department program, says the uh, police account for 2.6 million of that total, having acquired everything from a cargo truck, helmets to chemical protection suits, and rifles. However, it's been a few years since the department received surplus equipment. So, um, this is part of uh, it as well. The the building up, the more it's more evidence is what the police are getting militarized, and the feds are paying for it too. Uh, they're also cracking down on enemy number one, which are people that have a half a brain rolling around in their head and realize that this crisis is coming. Um, usually militias, um, more independent type people, and um, so they're cracking down on them, and they're putting it out there. People buying waterproof matches and stuff like that, paying with cash, they could be terrorists. So the whole war on terror kind of coincides with, what, the war on drugs. The war on drugs was to militarize the police. Now, the war on terror is to get those militarized police to go after enemy number one, which are people that um, basically want to maintain uh, somewhat of a free, uh, you know, of their freedoms. So, and that's what the real terrorists are. So, if you're anti-federalist, you know, anti-humongous federal uh, Nazi uh, centralized government dictatorship, basically, then uh, you're a terrorist. So TSA, and they have these guys waiting for you for the terrorists. TSA's Freudian Craigslist slip says either someone just attempted the subtlest jabs at our nation's force of uncomfortably intensive rent-a-cops at the TSA need to invest in better theosaurus. It said a job posting on Ann Arbor, Michigan Craigslist invites would-be screeners to be part of an imperious security team protecting airports and skies as you proudly establish your future. Imperious indeed, says the dictionary defines imperious as domineering in a haughty manner, dictatorial, overbearing. The definition from Google is even better, describing it as assuming authority without justification. So there you go. Rude awakening for Mac users as cyber attack infects 550. Uh, 50,000 of Apple's virus-free machines with UK and US worst hits. US worst hits. So then here we go. Cyber czar wants Homeland Security to patrol America's internet borders. So the internet was provided to us by the military industrial complex and that DARPA. 
And now it's time to put a stranglehold on it because there's too much information going out that can be managed, but it can't be controlled. So now they want to put little internet borders uh, up. But don't worry about the borders, the actual physical borders. And, you know, if you still believe in nationalism, then you may believe in borders. I'm not saying that I do, but there are people that are willing to fight for that. And they don't give a crap. I just mentioned an article in the last video where, what, they were going to basically authorize illegal immigrants to uh, to get waivers. So, so moving on here, we're going to get into eugenics here shortly. DHS looks to spy on video game consoles in search of... Uh, basically, they're trying to protect the kids, right? You got to protect the kids, so you got to get censored, and what? And terrorists. So it's all in the name of terrorism as well. So the government is more concerned uh, with the platforms rather than the games themselves. Mainly talking about the violent uh, video games like Call of Duty that get people ready to fight for the military, global police force. Uh, mainly because newer systems like Xbox 360, Wii, and PlayStation allow users to communicate. So says the Department of Homeland Security, there they are again, the U.S. Navy launched a new research initiative that will explore ways of allowing the governments to hack into gaming consoles. So, so from tracking Al-Qaeda, the government's own private terrorist network, to tracking the wayward spouse, and it goes on there, it says that uh, at the annual Homeland Security Expo, X-ray machines, infrared cameras, police cruiser with heat sensing capability are some of the things that you can find says, and a GPS uh, device that can spy on your spouse. So it goes on and says a professional-grade covert tracking, and it basically can be tucked behind seat cushions under floor mats and back pads. And we're getting more requests from husbands and wives. It goes on, I see guys throw it in their wife's car and cover it in a hat. It keeps, people's, keeps people honest, right? Or it keeps honest people honest. So I don't know. I think that uh, basically... It says that you don't trust people. Why would you want to be with someone that you don't trust, right? So, but that's part of the mentality that's being pushed on is part of the social engineering. So not trust anybody. We're all criminals. That's why the police treat everybody as if they're potential criminals, potential terrorists. So if you have nothing, if you're not doing anything wrong, you have nothing to hide. Google begins testing its augmented reality glasses. So, uh, yeah, I've already covered this before, but basically they're going to start uh, uh, promoting this stuff now basically moving into uh, augmented reality, cyborgs, and whatnot. And it says here the glasses are not uh, yet for sale. Google will, however, be testing them in the public. Well, they're going to be testing them on the public to see how society accepts that technology. It's a pretty big technology. They're going to see how they, they're going to gauge how they accept that technology. Watch out, Washington, CISPA uh, replaces SOPA as Internet's enemy number one. So Cyber Intelligence Sharing Protection Act, CISPA is quickly becoming, it said, basically the new SOPA. So I'm going to keep moving. Headlines and links will be posted. Russia developing a gun that turns people into zombies. Seriously, and people down there were joking in the comment board thinking it's a big joke. I, lo I love that, dude. You know, that's why we're in half the situation that we're in, because people think it's a big effing joke. So, I mean, yeah, you can lighten it up or whatever and have, you know, but you can't just disregard things that are real. So, but yeah, it, it's basically their microwaves is what they are. And it goes on and it says, Vladimir Putin confirmed that his country is working on the creation of an electromagnetic gun, i.e. electromagnetic gun, that attacks its targets in the central nervous system, putting them in what we hope is a temporary zombie-like state. So uh, it said it could be used for dispersing a crowd and was focused on a man. His body temperature went up immediately as if he's been thrown into a frying pan. So there you go. This is our. This is stuff that's already being done. It's being done through satellites, being done through cell, fel, uh, cell and Wi-Fi towers. So, uh, you know, it, to call it a gun, whatever. Again, they've been doing it for a while. They've been microwaving people, and uh, that's part of mind control. So, But they call it zombies, so it makes it sound like it's uh, science fiction. Coronation Street Killer was fascinated by horror DVDs and violent video games from age 8. It was all too easy for him to get hold of, says victim's former partner. So this individual, Daniel, butchered his mom with a claw hammer as she slept and doused her body in petrol and set it alight before telling neighbors she had been killed by a burglar. So there you go. It's talking about zombies here. Man, 78 years old, recounts assault by six youths or youths in East Toledo, Ohio. So, yeah, pretty crazy. And it's all what? This is for Trayvon. says here that uh, they said, take him down. And uh, basically going on. They said that, why are you picking on me? That's what Mr. Watts recalled saying. And they said, remember Trayvon.
Mr. Watts said the boys uh, delivered a single blow to the back of the head during the incident on Saturday, knocking him to the ground. At one point, the victim uh, recalled being lifted from the ground so one of the boys could drop kick him in the chest. And then he put his foot on his back on the victim's neck with another shouting, kill him. While Mr. Watts was down, the boys kicked him over and over, shouting, get that white man. This is for Trayvon. Trayvon lives, white man. Kill the white man, according to the police report. So... There you go. There's the power of the media. There's the power of social engineering and programming. Mysterious zombie disease is afflicting thousands of Ugandan children. So, a zombie disease. Uh, is it the vaccina vaccinations? I don't know. Mercury raises compound tied to autoimmune disease. Been trying to get to this for a while, but says women with greater blood levels of mercury are more likely to have higher amounts of proteins tied to autoimmune diseases such as arthritis. Now, Someone asked me what I thought about this, the autoimmune disease, Kawasaki disease in Japan at all time high in kids. So it is an autoimmune disease. I don't know if it's being caused. Japanese do eat a lot of fish and seafood, so maybe it's caused by that. New vaccine triggers immune system against brain tumors, so they got a vaccine for everything now. A new vaccine has showed positive results in boosting the immune system of children with a form of brain tumor. So moving on here, experts call WHO and Bill Gates Foundation's role in India polio eradication campaign unethical. So it goes on here and it says that uh, they're trumpeting India's polio eradication campaign that they knew 10 years back was never going to succeed when India was taken off the list of polio endemic countries by the WHO in 2012. But this is, the, this is the real beef right here. It's causing paralysis. So it goes on and it says these doctors made another uh, ethical issue uh, raised by a campaign is the failure to thoroughly investigate the increase in the incidence of non-polio acute flaccid para, uh, paralysis in areas where many doses of vaccines were used. Bill Gates supports GM crops, and this author says it's the wrong approach for Africa. He goes on and actually, it's funny, he actually refers to him as a technocrat he says he is a technocratic ideology so i thought that was pretty neat go in there and check it out i can't get rid of this stupid pop-up anymore i do have pop-up blocker monsanto threatens to sue vermont if legislators pass a bill requiring gmo food to be labeled elected officials are abandoning the public interest and public will in the face of corporate intimidation it says despite overwhelming public support there's been polls i've seen it all the numbers say that people just want to see what's in their food they want to be labeled if it's gmo or not and they're just not going to do it because they're assholes industrial poultry about to get even crappier literally so it, it basically goes in there and says there's shit in the meat it actually goes in there and says the usda may be moving forward a plan to privatize part of the meat and poultry inspection program dude i'm all for that free market stuff but the only problem is it's going to be handed out to one company the one that buys them off the most the government that is the government's going to be used to be bought off and then you'll have this nice, uh, maybe one company, right, or two companies, a duopoly or a monopoly of inspection programs. You're not going to have like a free market where there's no government, where you're going to have like 10, 15, 20 inspection companies all competing. No, you're going to have one. And whoever, whoever pays the most to the government, to these sellouts, will get it. We'll get the contract. They're going to keep moving fast, so stick with me. Toxic or Agent Orange sprayed in British Columbia and Canada, cancer-causing herbicide dubbed Agent Orange, were sprayed in the British Columbia government during the 1960s and 70s, according to documents. And it's funny because the same ingredients used in that is in the G some of the GMOs uh, by Monsanto. It says here, cholera epidemic uh, in Haiti caused by United Nations. And we kind of are. Homeland Security unites with abortion industry to silence gospel. And it goes on here and says that this reverend from the National Director of Operation Save America will appear at the Charlotte School of Law in Charlotte to appeal a guilty verdict for stalking, basically protesting at these uh, one in five pharmacies uh, hinder teens' access to morning after pill. So that's a sad, sad story. They can't get their morning after pill. So the morning after pill prolongs relationships by up to two years, but makes users find sex less satisfying. Next up, lesbian porn film company donates $1,000 to Planned Parenthood's former research arm. They say because of its contribution to reproductive and sexual health. Next up, U.S. Congress is calling on Obama to issue the lesbian, gay, bisexual, transsexual, anti-discrimination mandate for all federal contractors. The number, sorry, contractors. And it's actually going to be an executive order. Beauty pageant backtracks lets transgender beauty compete. Boy or girl, the parents who refuse to say for five years finally reveal sex of their gender neutral child. Next up, I'm so proud of my princess boy, says mother who allows five-year-old son to wear pink dresses. Then next up, we have Zach Avery is among the youngest to be diagnosed with gender 
identity disorder. Remember in Sweden, gender neutral preschool accused of mind control in a high school says, can a boy wear a skirt to school? This is GGN and I'm Darko. Thank you and God bless.